With the Street Rod Nationals just around the corner in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm kind of jazzed up to build a street rod. And what a perfect time to do it. We're going to start the 48-hour group build hosted by Craig over at Mutt Modeler. He does this every year, and this is actually the 10th year for the 48-hour group build. I've done it a couple times before, and it's really a fun time to build something and, and get something finished. But let's get this thing opened up and uh, go through it. It's a great kit. I've built it a few times before, and I'm going to show you what's cool about this kit. We got the Revell 29 Model A. And you can build it two ways, and we'll get into that. You can build it as a high boy or a low boy, and it actually comes with two frames. What a cool kit. But anyway, the 48-hour group build starts at 8 p.m. Friday, your time, and ends Sunday night, 8 p.m. your time. Anyway, this box is loaded full of goodies. I'm going to unbox all this and open everything up and show you what's nice about this kit. Here's the instru instructions. Here's the decal sheet. That's what you got for decals. A little bit of pinstriping. This here stuff, it's, it's designed to kind of maybe put mud or dirt on your car. Some license plates and a couple different patterns for your seats. And they give you some decals for the white wall instruction sheet. Typical Revell instructions. Starts off listing all your parts and what they are. Looks like a heart high parts count kit. It actually is, but there's going to be a whole lot of parts left over because you can, again, build it two, in two versions. Low boy or high boy. Starts off with the engine. And you have two different sets set up for the engine, also a blower or a six pack, which is pretty cool. And again, whatever option you choose, you'll have uh, leftovers. More engine build. I love these headers. You can run your exhaust going all the way back. Or I like to cut my exhaust, and I'll probably do that during this build and open it up, and I'll show you how I do that. But what I mean by the low boy or high boy, you have your two options here, option A or option B. You choose whichever way you want to build it. The high boy, the body's going to sit on top of the frame. Low boy, it's going to be channeled down over the frame. So you have your... It shows you A if you chose option A, or it shows you option B. There's your rear end. There's your tires. There's a few sets of tires. There's a few sets of wheels in here. Yeah, there's not. There's only one set of tires. And you'll even have some extra front suspension parts. Choosing A or B. Whichever style you cheat, decide. And even extra radiator. All your hoses. Steering linkage, you even get to choose between A and B. So you have a lot of parts left over. One body, two firewalls. One body, and actually two sets of interior. This thing is loaded with parts. Two steering wheels. There's your two sets of wheels. You got a cool aluminum looking wheel and your steely. And of course, it looks like you can dress up your steely with uh, some beauty rings. And I'm pretty sure, yep, center caps come with it too. Some knockoffs go on your wheels if you want. Several different light options. I like that. Of course, on a hot rod, that's how you uh, kind of show uh, what you like is by your headlight. And some decal placement. Great instruction sheet. 
I plan on doing mine a traditional style. I got plan on probably, I think I'm going to go with a, a red frame because I'm going to go with the high boy so the body will be sitting on top of the frame. And I'll probably paint the engine block red also to match. And I'm thinking about going with a uh, kind of a matte flat black looking hot rod. I haven't done a, a flat black car with a uh, trimmed in red in quite a while. Here's some white that I'll probably use for the interior. And uh, I grabbed this pre-wired distributor out of my parts box. And I'll probably use that. Make it go a little bit quicker for the 48 hour group build. Let's open up some bags here. These tires are really nice. Of course they don't come with white walls. Uh, you don't want to lose these. Those are your little pins to pin on your wheels. Don't lose those. Stick that in the box. Here's your tires. They're bigs and littles. Cool tread pattern. Uh, they're no names, which is all right. And again, it comes with that decal to put on there to make a white wall if you want. But the tires look very nice. I think they're pretty cool. Here's your glass. Yeah, you have three different sets of headlights to choose from and your front windshield. That's your glass. Lots of chrome trees in this thing. This, to me, this kit has the best blower scoop. I love that blower scoop. It's all one piece. Usually in all those kits, you have to put the blower piece, the blower scoop together in two pieces. This is all one piece. Beautiful blower scoop. Gorgeous oil pan. Beautiful transmission pan. I mean, this thing is just nice. I love these headers. Very, very nice. And this is, this is for your three carb setup and this would be for your blower more chrome trees there's your custom wheels two steering wheels there's your caps and beauty rings if you want to go with the steel wheels there's your three sets of headlights of course, some of your, your steering linkage and your rear bars, rear differential cover. A lot of nice detail on here. Front suspension. And these two pieces here are for your, if you want to run your exhaust all the way back, they are the chrome tips that go on the back. Two front bars two front bars decide which one if you go with low boy or high boy so you'll have two bars left over for the front there's your grill gauge cluster door handles separate door handles which is nice and your front windshield frame Let's check out the body the body on this is very nice and really, there's there's no mold lines on this body to even sand. I just take this thing over to the uh, kitchen sink and wash it with a little Dawn soap. Maybe get a little bit of oil off it for my fingers. And she's ready to paint. There's your floor pan. It's got a lot of nice engraving on it. These two pieces are for your exhaust, and there's the dashboard. That's where that little cluster goes in for your gauges. There's your rear end. And this is, this is a roof piece, which you won't use. And this is cool, too. I really like this. This has your Buick brake drums, which are really nice. This piece and this piece, these are designed to go in the back, which will not even be shown if you do not open up the trunk lid. So you have a very cool extra gas tank and a very cool extra battery box for your parts box for a future build. If you don't open up the trunk lid. There's your steel wheels. 
Very nice. And of course, these pieces go onto your brakes back here, but love these brake drums. And I remember back in the day, you couldn't get good brake drums, so those were hot if a resin caster made them. All right, let's go through this big old pile here. Here's your engine. Engine and transmission heads. There's your intake for your three carburetor setup. Or this side here is for your blower. Your starter. You get two different drive shafts. So you're going to have an extra drive shaft for your extra parts box too. More exhaust if you run it all the way back. And yeah, let's do these two pieces. Notice you get two frames here. I'm going to show you what I was talking about between choosing the two frames and the high boy and low boy. Choose your two frames, and on your frame, you put in this cross member. And I am choosing the low boy version. You also put in your correct firewall, so you have two different firewalls to put in. So it's going to sit on there just like that. That's your high boy. And this is your low boy. It would go down like that. But that's your difference right there. I wanted to get the headers modified, and to do that, I basically sliced off the ends and then I would eventually open up those ends with holes to make them more realistic. Also, this little tool here, a flex file, that works great on getting in between things to file all the mold lines. If you don't have one of those, you have to check, check it out and get one. It's one of my favorite tools. Love all the headlights, tires and wheels. Working on uh, trying to choose what wheels I want to go with this thing. I'm still not too sure. Because I like both sets. And if you go with a steel wheel, you can go with several different looks. So we'll see what uh, comes about that. I uh, got the steel wheels painted. I'm dressing them up. There it is with the cap. There it is with the beauty ring. There it is with the cap and beauty ring. But we're going to see what we're going to go with here. Time to get things de-chromed to take the chrome off. I like to use the purple power. I just pour a little bit in and those parts will be de-chromed in probably a half an hour to an hour or two. Here's a nice little update on the bench. Got some things painted up. The body's painted already. Frame's painted. I'm working on painting the interior pieces. There's some stuff there I'm working on painting, trying to figure out what headlights I'm going to go with. All those pieces there I hand painted. Hand painted those with a uh, steel color and aluminum color from Model Master. And everything on this model will be hand painted and or rattle canned. Kind of doing old school. Plus a 48 hour build, I'm very slow at cleaning out an airbrush decided to mount the license plate see how that looked was liking what I saw and it's time to start putting a wash on the fin valve covers and oil pan and transmission pan that's the wash I like to use there's my parts de-chromed they're looking pretty good I painted the carburetors there's the mix that I used to paint the carburetors a flat aluminum and that brass Another overall view, getting things painted up. Things are coming along pretty good with this kit. It's, again, it's a super easy build. I highly recommend this kit. Doing some more hand painting. I posted this on the uh, Facebook page. What music are you guys listening to? I was in a journey mood, so I had journey going. Another tip, use the rubber color for the Tamiya and paint your belts and hoses rubber. There's the engine going together. Super gluing the pins in. That's kind of an important step. You don't want all that to come apart. But there's the tires and wheels pretty much put together with the pins in. If you don't have this, these three, four sets from Tamiya, grab them. They're great. Excellent weathering sets. I like using that soot right there. 
comes with that little applicator and I put a little bit of soot on the end of the headers gives a little bit more realistic look but those colors work wonderful in weathering now it's time to mock it up in the frame looking good headlights still don't know what to do so I decided to put all three sets of headlights together there's the glue I like to use for clear painted those pieces of aluminum with that Humbro chrome silver and getting everything locked up again got the steering shaft in time for the rear end shocks that looking good got it all painted up and we're gonna get that mounted in underneath is coming along really nice I'm liking how this is going together little update on where we're at so far this model is just it's it's fit together like a glove it's amazing all the suspension pieces have just clicked right into place it's been a joy to build the only issue I've had so far is the top of my radiator hose right there you see that it's white I could not for anything get that radiator hose to go either under the blower belt or over the blower belt the directions show that it's supposed to go above the blower belt oh I'm gonna break my model but I don't know I I wasn't gonna add it on there it is but I thought well I'm, I want to so I worked through it and what I did you can see that white piece right there so to keep this thing all box stock I went ahead and pulled a piece of white plastic off the sprue and just drilled into one end grabbed onto that radiator hose and then glued it onto the radiator now it's not glued into the right position but it is what it is I'm also trying to figure out if I'm going to put the beauty ring and caps on the wheels I don't know I might set it up without for now and go from there but other than that this has been a great kit speaking of a, such a good kit I went ahead and picked up a second one there it is with the uh, cap I like that cap look though it's pretty cool but I also like the bare steel look but speaking of such a great kit, I went ahead and bought a second one, and I'm going to build it the uh, channeled version, the low boy, where the body sits all the way down. This is a kit you can't get enough of. And another reason, well, you can build it two different ways. So there's two cool hot rods, so there's two kits you got to build. And another reason, that man, that engine is really nice. And I love that engine. I love how the... Uh, oil pan and transmission pan is finned excellent engine of course those headers I like the headers that way I mean I modified those just a little bit you saw how, what I did but great kit and of course that blower scoop that scoop or that hat is the best hat in any kit around and of course it's all just one piece it's coming along we're going to wrap this thing up and uh I highly recommend this kit. You got to at least get minimum of two of them to build it two different versions. Actually, minimum of three. Build it two different versions, and the reason you would need a third one is either for all the parts, or if you purchase any resin bodies at all, like from Jimmy Flintstone, all his hot rod bodies and stuff. They slip. They're designed to slip on these two chassis as well. So there's a reason to buy at least three of these kits. Let's get to building this thing. Put the body on it snapped right into place nice snug fit no glue needed very impressed on how the body went on two sets of tail lights to choose from which is cool so you've got another set in the uh, parts box i just use a red sharpie to color the tail lights and i think it's a very convincing look over that chrome there they are mounted this thing's coming along Basically now all we're looking at is a front windshield and 
door handles and voila there they are they are on what do you think about that this was a fun kit super easy to put together I'm going to build another one. I'm really looking forward to it. I've built a couple of these in the past, and like I said, they're one of my favorite kits to build, especially for a hot rod. Man, what a fun weekend I had. Got to participate in a 48-hour build hosted by Craig over at Mutt Modeler. There's Craig's channel. And post all my progress pics on this Facebook page. There's the Facebook page for this here group build. But thank you, Craig, for hosting this. Thank you for running that Facebook page. What well, made this so fun, this was, a, this was a great kit to build. No issues at all. I think I have a cool little hot rod here to put on the shelf. I built it box stock. And I'm going to get another one that built together so well to do the channeled version or a low boy where the body sits down over the frame but also what was cool about this when I finished this 48 hour group build up today at noon I got to go to a local car show that had a model contest and I got to enter this in the model contest here's a picture of it at the model contest but how cool is that to start a kit Friday night and take it to a model contest Sunday afternoon. But this Ravel 29 just went together great. I love it. Oh, my tire come off. I plan on getting another one to do the channeled version. Or the low boy, I should say. Where the body sits down over the frame. But very cool. We'll see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power.